Don't shine with all your bonus. Jesus be glorified. Jesus be magnified. Jesus be glorified. Eh, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, I sense miracles. I see miracles. I confess miracles. I declare testimonies. I declare testimonies. I declare breakthrough. I declare testimonies in Africa, in Asia, in America, in Middle East. I command today the grace of God manifest with the power of God for the miraculous. Just say after me, the miracle God has for me today, nothing can stop it. Raise your voice and declare. The miracles for your family, nothing can stop it. The miracle for your job, nothing can stop it. The miracle for your health, nothing can stop it. The miracle for your personal spiritual life, nothing can stop it. We come to Jesus Christ, the I am, Jesus, the faithful God. I declare today as many are the sound of my voice across the continents of the world, let there be miracles. Now, believe God tonight. Just say, Lord Jesus, I believe you for my personal miracle this very week. Raise your voice and pray. I come in the name of Jesus to believe God with you. I believe God with you. I join my faith with your faith today for that personal miracle. I join my faith with your faith today for that breakthrough. I come in the name of Jesus Christ to speak to every closed door. Be open. I come in the name of Jesus Christ to speak to every mountain. Be thou removed. I come in the name of Jesus Christ to command the favor you need for that opening. I come in the name of Jesus Christ to speak with you for grace for life. I come in the name of Jesus Christ to declare today you must win that battle. You must testify that Jesus is Lord. The angels of God are released on your behalf. Receive that testimony. Receive a miracle in your healing. Receive a miracle in your job. Receive a miracle in your health. Receive a miracle for your grandchildren. Receive a testimony. Let us, as we come to, together in unity today, let grace be released. Hallelujah, Lord. Just say, thank you, Jesus. I declare this week a week full of testimonies, a week full of miracles, a week that Jesus will be glorified in my life. Raise our voice and pray. We speak in the name of Jesus Christ. This week, Jesus will be glorified. This week, Jesus will be glorified in your mother, in your father, in your children, in your home, in your spouse, in your job, in your health, in your highway. Let Jesus be glorified. Before we pray, before we begin officially, just say the name of Jesus. I declare today the enemy have no entry point in my life. Just confess it. The enemy has no entry point in everything that concerns you. Raise your voice and pray. We declare a wall of fire around your family, a wall of fire around your home, a wall of fire around your ministry, a wall of fire around your children. The enemy have no access. Yes, Lord. I speak today, the enemy have no access for those in Sierra Leone, those in Ghana, those in Nigeria, those in Cameroon, those in Europe, Asia, Middle East, America. I come in the name of Jesus Christ to declare you are covered by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The enemy have no access. Now, I want you to believe, just say after me, that which belongs to me, no enemy can steal it from me. Just say after me, that which belongs to me this week, no enemy can steal it from me. Raise your voice and pray. That which belongs to you, no enemy can steal it from you. We come to say enough is enough. No devourer will take your job. No devourer will take your home. No devourer will take your spouse. No devourer will take your, your opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ, that which belongs to you, you will receive it in Jesus' name. Can you pray that same prayer? There's somebody there at the verge of a breakthrough. A mighty breakthrough. Just say the name of Jesus, that which belongs to me, no enemy 
can take it from me. Raise your voice and declare. I speak today to as many as the sound of my voice. Every child of God, your family must move forward. Your family must move forward. Grace to advance in life. No enemy will steal from your children. No enemy will steal from your family. No enemy will take your place. I decree today the blessing of the Lord will protect you and keep you strong. Hallelujah, Lord. We are praying with the, with, with the various titles of Jesus. Today, please, let's begin with Mario chapter 1, verse 16. Matthew 1, 16. Every, every week from now to maybe June, we are praying on the key word. The, the password is Jesus. The password for God's kingdom is Jesus. Matthew chapter 1, verse 16. Matthew chapter 1, verse 16, please. And Jacob begat, are you following me, please? That's Matthew 1, 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Underline, Jesus is called the Christ. Say, Jesus is called the Christ. Jesus is called the Christ. Matthew 1, 16. The Christ is the promised child of God that will be anointed by God. So Christ means Messiah, the anointed one. That is what makes Jesus different from any other prophet because the, the, the Holy Spirit dwells in him in fullness. When Jesus came, he came as the Christ, the anointed one, beyond every other prophet. So Jesus is the God choosing anointed one, the deliverer of the nation of Israel, the deliverer of the world. Just say after me, Jesus Christ is my Messiah. Jesus Christ is my anointed one. Jesus Christ is anointed to solve your problem. Now, when it say Jesus Christ, Jesus is his name, Christ is his office. So we speak today that Jesus the Christ, the anointed one, the anointing upon Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost upon Jesus Christ is to redeem us, is to save us, is to fight our battle. Just say after me, say in the name of Jesus, I declare the Messiah is my warrior, the Messiah fought my battles, the Messiah gave me victory over every enemy. Raise your voice and declare, the Messiah, the anointed one, has given you victory over your enemies. Raise your voice and declare, let's take this serious. Just say the Messiah has given me victory over my enemies. Raise your voice and declare. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ across the continents of the world. The Messiah has given you victory over your enemies. Jesus the Christ is Jesus the anointed one. Jesus the Messiah, the only one that the Holy Spirit came to dwell and abide in him. All through the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit comes upon the prophets and then he will go again. But when Jesus came, John said, I saw the Spirit come descending from heaven like a dove and abiding upon him. So Jesus, the Messiah, is our conqueror. Oh my God. Now listen, listen, listen. When Joshua was to face Jericho, he saw an angel, and the angel said, I am the captain of the host of the Lord. This battle does not belong to you, Joshua. Just say after me, this battle does not belong to me. The unseen power of God, the angelic presence of God will push down those walls. So Jesus came for the church as the anointed one to push down every wall of barrier. Just say the name of Jesus. I want you to church in your prayer. Say the name of Jesus. The anointed one has broken the walls of limitation. Raise her voice and declare. The anointed one has broken the walls of limitation. Be to pray. I speak in your life in the name of Jesus. The anointed one has broken the walls of limitation. The veil is torn from up to down. You have access now in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil will limit your destiny. I want you to pray with understanding. Say in the name of Jesus, I take away this barrier. 
I break this limitation by the anointing of the Messiah. Every wall crumble before you. Raise our voice and pray. We speak today, you cannot be stuck in life. This very week, we speak in the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Messiah, every wall before you crumble. Every wall of resistance crumble. Every wall resisting your destiny crumble before you. Every wall of opposition against your family crumble before you. Just say the same God that anointed Jesus Christ to fight my battles. And Jesus came as a Messiah. Listen, Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. The battle has been won. The battle has been won. Your enemies have been subdued. The walls have been broken down. Child of God, Jesus is the anointed one. So Jesus fought our battles. Jesus has given us victory. Say after me, Jesus fought my battle and he has given him the victory. So we are living a life of victory. Just raise up your hand. We are confessing today, I am living from victory to victory. I didn't say from battle to battle. Say I'm living from victory to victory through the anointing of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Raise your voice and declare. I am living from victory to victory because of the anointed one that fought my battles. Raise your voice and declare. I am living from victory to victory because of the anointed one that fought my battles. Jesus fought your battles. The anointed one conquered on your behalf. The battle is the Lord's battle. The anointed one has given us the victory. Let's take it. Let's take 30, let's take 30 seconds. Just celebrate your victory. Celebrate your victory. You know, you know what? One woman had a neighbor, and this woman was very poor. He had three children, and he took his children to go to school to pay their fees. And he went to school. Somebody said, your fees have been paid already. Who paid the fees to your neighbor? What a joy to go to school to, to pay your children's school fees, and somebody has paid their fees already. Jesus paid the feast for you already. Jesus fought the battle for you already. Jesus won on the cross already. And he has given us a victory. Just say after me, I live from victory to victory because of the anointed one. Just raise your voice and confess. I live from victory to victory because of the anointed one, Jesus Christ. Victory belongs to you. On Monday to Friday to Saturday to Sunday, you are victorious in Jesus' name. Let's take this serious. We are praying for this week. From this Monday to the next Monday, we are speaking that every day, every day begins with victory and ends with victory. Raise your voice and declare. I speak today to as many as the sound of my voice. Those in Africa, those in Asia, those in Europe, those in America. The week begins with victory and ends with victory. You will not fail in Jesus' name. You will not fail in Jesus' name. You will not cry in Jesus' name. You will not mourn in Jesus' name. I speak today, this week begins with victory and ends with victory. Just say after me, I begin my day with victory. I end my day with victory. Raise your voice and declare. Father, I give you thanks tonight for as many on the line. And I speak that victory for every son of God, every child of God, every daughter on the line, every mother, every student on the line. We speak this grace. You begin your day with the victory of the cross. Jesus has paid your fees already. Jesus paid the price already. So stop fighting, fighting, fighting. Begin to celebrate that Jesus Christ conquered the enemy on your behalf. Say, Jesus is the Messiah. Say after me, Jesus is my Messiah. Hallelujah, Lord. The next verse today, please, is Luke chapter 2, verse 25. Luke 2, 25, please. For those watching me online, just click the share button, please. Click the share button, please. Luke 2, from verse what I mean, verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. 
And the same man was just and devout, waiting for what? The consolation of Israel. Underline the word consolation of Israel. This man was very old. And the Lord told him he would not die until he would see the Messiah. So he was waiting for the consolation of Israel. The consolation of, of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Say Jesus, the comfort of Israel. Jesus, the comforter of the church of God. Jesus, the consoler. Jesus, the consolation. Jesus comes in your life and says, my child, cry no more. Jesus comes in your life and say, weep no more. Jesus comes in your life and say, there is a way out. Jesus comes in your life and say, there is hope again. Jesus comes in your life and says, worry no more. Just say, I have a comforter. Say, Jesus, my consoler. Jesus is able to turn things around for good. Now I want to pray. We are praying today. Say, because I have Jesus, the Messiah, my future is blessed. My future is secured. My future is established. It is well with the righteous. Raise our voice and pray. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Your tomorrow is not troublesome. Your tomorrow is blessed. Your tomorrow is full of grace. Your tomorrow is secured by the grace of God. Your future is guaranteed because of the covenant of peace. Just say, peace upon my family. Let's go into prophetic. Just say after me, peace upon my family. Just confess it. Say, peace upon my family. Peace upon my life. Peace for my future. Shalom. Well-being. Let the presence of the Lord secure your, your life in Jesus' mighty name. So, Jesus is called the consolation of Israel. The hope of Israel. The comforter of Israel. The peace of Israel. What a joy to know that, oh, I'm consoled because Jesus is, al is alive. Jesus says to you today, now, when the angel met Haggai by the, by the, in the wilderness, he said, Haggai, what ill thou? The Lord is with you. Don't cry anymore. It is well with you. Today God is saying to you, child of God, don't worry. Child of God, don't stress. Child of God, don't cry. Child of God, don't weep. Your comforter is alive. Rest of your right hand. Say the name of Jesus. I declare today, my life will not be a crying life. My life will be a rejoicing life because Jesus is alive. Raise your voice and confess. Child of God, I speak in your life today. Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in your home. Rejoice on the way to your job site. Drive on the highway singing some songs. I decree in your life the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah, Lord. Now listen. Tomorrow I'll teach you a song that I was praying this morning and the Lord linked me with angels. They were singing this song and started singing this song with angels. It's a short song. Tomorrow I'll teach you that song. It's very simple but so touching. You know, I don't know why God, God just opened my ear to follow the angels sing that song this morning. Just beautiful. But listen. I want you to know that Jesus is saying to you, I am your consolation. I am your comforter. I am your peace. I am your stress-free Lord. In Christ there is light, no darkness. Just lay hand in your body. Say, nothing will stress my life again. Can you, can you confess? Say, nothing will stress my family again. Nothing will stress my life again. In my job, in your home, in your family, with your children, with your spouse, no devil will stress your life again. Jesus is your comforter. Jesus is a consoler. Jesus is the hope of the righteous. Jesus, my anchor holds on Jesus Christ. Jesus, I surrender to your name. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus says, I will comfort you. Now, the one more thing we pray today, please. And that is in Isaiah 6, verse 9. Isaiah 6, verse 9. 
The password for this season is Jesus. And that's a password for life. Whether you're a businessman, it's Jesus. Whether you're a student, it's Jesus. Whether you're a minister, Jesus is the answer. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, please. Isaiah 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Underline the word Counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Wow, I love this verse, you know. So Jesus is our counselor. Just say counselor. Now, counselor gives you wisdom. Counselor gives you direction. Counselor gives you information. Counselor gives you good understanding. Counselor guides your life. Counselor gives you, you know, the, the, the secret of a solution on how to come out of a problem. So Jesus is our counselor. Can you imagine yourself sitting down and getting advice from Jesus Christ? Just imagine yourself sitting down and Jesus Christ is advising you, my child, do this, do this for your family, do this for your job. Now, is Jesus Christ your counselor? Every day we need to go to him, Father, speak, Lord, direct my life. We are praying today for the wisdom that comes through the counsel of Jesus. Jesus is my counselor. He gives us advice. He gives us wisdom. Just say the name of Jesus Christ. I receive wisdom at the feet of Jesus Christ. I receive counsel in my spirit. I receive understanding. I receive knowledge. I receive discretion. I receive insight. Raise our voice and pray. I speak today to as many out there that Jesus is a counselor. Jesus is our wisdom. Jesus is our understanding. Jesus is our skill. Jesus is our insight. Jesus gives us counsel from heaven. The word of the Lord is my guide. Jesus, my counselor. Now, I believe that if you have a good counselor, you avoid mistakes. He will teach you, he will give you secret on how to escape from all the traps out there. Today, Christ is saying to you, I want to be your counselor. My sheep hear my voice. Let's pray today one more time. For the patience to receive counsel from the Lord. The counsel from the Lord. Now, this is very interesting. The son of Solomon received the counsel of the young man and did something that was terrible and Israel divided. Let's pray to, for every child of God to listen to the still small voice. Let's pray for every child of God, everyone in your family to receive, to listen to the still small voice, the wisdom from Jesus Christ. Raise your voice and pray. I speak today to as, as many at the sound of my voice. Receive wisdom for life. Wisdom at the feet of Jesus Christ. Let God separate the goat from the sheep. Just say, Lord Jesus, I receive your understanding. I receive wisdom. I receive insight. I receive knowledge. Receive grace. Receive instruction. Let God give you mystery of his presence. Receive insight. Receive answers. The best thing to do is to sit at the feet of Jesus Christ. Mary understood that secret. Martha was busy, will walk, busy in the kitchen, busy doing all, but Mary sat at the feet of Jesus Christ, just soaking and receiving every word. That is the secret. Receiving every word. Let's spend time. Let me just talk to you for a while, okay? Let me talk to you. This morning, I read, let me see, about 16 chapters of my Bible. This morning, I think 16. Let's pray for the grace to receive wisdom from Jesus. The wisdom of the Word of God. The wisdom of His presence. Let's pray together for the patience to wait on the Lord. Now, it's not easy to wait on the Lord because of busy programs. But it's important to just read your Bible and, uh, read, read your Bible and look for a place and sit down and just wait on him. Lord Jesus, speak to me, Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I wait on you, Lord. Lord Jesus, speak to me. 
Show me your glory. Are you asking questions? I was praying as I said, Father, hey, Abraham, Moses, Jacob, all these men, what is their place in heaven? I, I, I was thinking, I don't know exactly, I was asking a question, and it, before I knew about it, I was singing with some angels. Let's pray today for wisdom that comes from God because of counseling. Say counseling. Say, Lord Jesus, give me a heart that will receive godly counseling. Raise our voice and pray. I speak to them to as many at the sound of my voice. Receive the grace to receive the counsel from the word of God. Receive the grace to receive counsel from Jesus Christ. Begin to operate your life with wisdom from the throne of God. Jesus is our personal counselor. Just say after me, Jesus Christ is my personal counselor. You ask him question, he will answer you, he will speak to you, even in, the, in dreams, he will speak to you. Amen. I love this one. Yes, Lord. Now, I love this one. Romans 11.26. Romans 11.26, please. We'll end there today. Romans 11.26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Those standing now, we're in Romans 11.26, please. Romans 11.26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. They shall come out of Zion a deliverer. Underline the word a deliverer. They shall come out of Zion a deliverer. And he shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Say, Jesus, my deliverer. Let's, let's spend it some time there and end it today. I want us to take this one serious. Shout, Jesus is my deliverer. Let's pray for four things. Number one, say, I am delivered from the traps of the enemy. Just shout, I am delivered from all the traps of the enemy. The enemy can never get you because you are in Jesus Christ. Raise your voice and pray. Because you are in Jesus Christ, you are delivered from all the trap, all the, the traps of the enemy. The snare of the fowler cannot get you. You are in Jesus Christ. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Just say after me, the snare of the enemy can never get me. You will not fall in the trap of the enemy. Either in your job site, in your home, in your neighborhood, you will not fall in the trap of your enemy. Now listen, I called Cameroon today and I got some very sad news. In a place called Likumba in Southwest Province, one man put poison in food. You know, they, they cook food in a pot and leave it there to, to share for everybody in the house. One neighbor came and put poison in that pot. And people, everybody, everybody can you just imagine, everyone who ate that food just slept like that and died. And people are crying there. But listen carefully. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will not fall in the trap of the enemy. It will not walk against your life. No trap of the enemy against your father, your mother, your sisters, your brothers, your household, the church of God, web mission partners. No trap of the enemy will succeed against you. You will not fall in the, in the snare of the fowler. Raise your voice and pray. We speak in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a victim of the trap of the enemy. Jesus Christ is our deliverer. Just confess it. Jesus Christ is my deliverer forever in Jesus' name. Number two, we're praying. Just say, I am, I am delivered from the snare of false teachings. False teachings is very dangerous. It's like poison. Many people love God. But they have been snared by false doctrines and they have been captured in the wrong way. They are zealously pursuing, oh my God, heresy. They are dying for heresy. Let's pray today. And first th thank the Lord that Jesus delivered you from falling in the trap of heresy, false teachings. That the light of God, the grace of God, found you and preserve you and you found Jesus Christ. Say, Jesus delivered me from error. Hey, say, Jesus Christ delivered me from error. Raise your voice and pray. I thank you, Jesus, for deliverance from error, deliverance from the snare of the enemy. 
and deliverance of all the errors in the world. And I pray today for as many at the sound of my voice, you will see the light, you will know the truth that Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, Jesus is the life. The third thing we're going to pray today, we're praying for deliverance, deliverance from every bondage. Pray for your children, pray for your family, pray for your loved ones, and then thank God for yourself. No more bondage. I was bound by alcohol from the age of five years old. I was alcoholic from the age of five. My father was a drunkard and I drink alcohol. I was bound by alcohol. But Jesus set me free. We are praying today to thank the Lord for deliverance from all addiction. And everybody at the sound of my voice, Jesus is the deliverer from every bondage. Raise your voice and thank the Lord. But I give you thanks to those watching me, different nations of the world. Jesus is the deliverer. Every addiction, every addiction on films, every addiction of things you see, things you hear, things you consume. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is deliverance today. Receive deliverance. To God be the glory. He set us free. We are delivered. Jesus is our deliverer. The last one today, we are praying. Now, the greatest deliverance is a deliverance from the power of sin and death. What a joy to be sure that heaven belongs to me. What a joy to be sure that if the trumpet sounds today, my name is in the book of life. That is the greatest blessing. Let's pray for our friends, our neighbors who are bound by religion, bound by all the false belief. Let's pray for deliverance from sin and Satan. Raise your voice, let's pray. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, deliverance from sin and Satan. I break that bondage of unbelief. We break the bondage of unbelief in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Arise, O God. Jesus is my deliverer. Lay your hand in your body, please. We are praying for yourself now. 2021 is here. We are already in April. We thank you, the Lord, for his deliverance in your life. Every day you will go out and come back safe. Every day you will step out and come back home with a song to the, to the glory of God. We speak safety in your job, safety in your household, safety in the neighborhood, safety on the highway. Let God, our deliverer, deliver us from every daily temptation. Let the Lord deliver us, deliver you from every daily battles. At the end of the day, we say thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Raise your voice and thank the Lord. Father, I give you thanks today for Jesus is our deliverer. We declare today Jesus is the Messiah. Yes, Lord, Jesus is the consoler of Israel. Jesus is our counselor. Jesus Christ is our deliverer. And I speak today, let there be deliverance in Jesus' name to end today. Let's pray for this week. Let's pray for God to give you a testimony by the end of this week. Now, our faith must be invested in the things we believe in God for. I'm a child of God because I believe in Jesus. I want to challenge you today to invest your faith for a testimony. So I command you to believe God for a testimony from now to Sunday. Let God answer you. The God that answers by fire. Let God answer you. Raise your voice and pray. I speak today. You must testify. You must shout praise the Lord. You will see the goodness of God. You experience the breakthrough. Let God arise in your life. Testimony in your business. Testimony with your children. Testimony in your home. Let Jesus Christ turn things around. Let God give you and hallelujah shout in Jesus' mighty name. To God be the glory. Now listen, those who are in U.S., if you don't have my music yet, you are missing something. I'm getting others all, all around the U.S. So please give me a call, 240-467-0590, and I will mail you a CD or a flash drive to play in your car. 
This music is from the Holy Spirit. Every song in my album wasn't from my mind. I got those songs in the place of prayer. And God just blessed the way the songs came out. So give me a call and get your CD or flash drive to play in your car. That would be an awesome way to sponsor the, the ministry and support me to go to the nations of the world with the gospel. I bless you today. And I commission goodness and mercy to follow you. At the sound of my voice, let there be strength in your life. As you make Jesus the password for a prayer, let grace and glory cover you. Just say after me, Lord Jesus, I welcome your grace and glory. I welcome your presence. I welcome the glory of God. Let Jesus visit you in a new way. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name.